Hi everyone, I'm David Wojcik and this is MBOT TV. Stories we covered this week, what did the 2019 federal budget do for business? MBOT members meet with city and regional bureaucrats. Prime Minister Trudeau stops in Mississauga with a big dollar announcement and a made in Mississauga entrepreneur gives up his secrets for success. Welcome to MBOT TV, a weekly recap of what happened in business at the Mississauga Board of Trade and around the city of Mississauga. Let's dive in. First up, our series on the corporate execution gap. Here's Fred Pitsadney from Focus Management with our Guru Gap Tip of the Week on the Grit Gap. What does he mean and how does it affect your execution strategy? Here's Fred to explain. Thanks, David. Hi, my name is Fred. Let's focus. We are a team with depth. We need to make sure that we work hard for everything we want to have. How many business leaders have had this thought? Given that most organizations struggle with strategy execution, I'd say that most leaders share the sentiment of Tomas Moten, the coach of Sweden's junior hockey team, who is feeling the sting of the heartbreaking loss to Canada in the 2017 World Junior Championship final. So the next time your team reviews its strategic capabilities, include a discussion on team grit. Ask these three questions. Number one, what does team grit mean to us and how important is it to our success? Number two, how much grit do we have and how much more is needed? Number three, what specifically will be done to close the grit gap? By whom and by when? Make it happen. Fly further. Back to you, David. Thanks, Fred. The first annual commissioner's dinner was held at the Credit Valley Golf and Country Club. Nine commissioners and both chief administrative officers from the city and the region dined with MBOT members. The informal meet, greet, and discussion of critical issues impacting businesses was a huge success. All who attended gave rave reviews of the initiative and are looking forward to next year's event. Made in Mississauga entrepreneur Mohamed Faki, the president and CEO of Paramount Fine Foods, gave an engaging recount of his journey from landing at Pearson Airport from Lebanon to building an international restaurant chain. So usually mentors, and I'm sure my assistant will agree, mentors are people you don't like them all days <laughs> and all the times, but they do teach you new things and they push you to new limits. So le lesson number one that I learned is find a mentor. And lesson number two, pay attention to people. Give them that two minutes. Because that's very important to your business and to your life. Mr. Faki thanked the many people who helped him get started, with several of them being in the audience. He also said his goal now is to give back and support the community that has provided an exceptional life for his family. The Mississauga Board of Trade is now accepting nominations for our awards of excellence in 11 different categories. Nominate a client or your own company Visit www.mbotawards.com and make your nomination today. Still to come is our political report with Brad Butt and our events listing with Stephanie Giorgio. But first, are you looking for ways to save money on your employee benefits? The Chamber Plan can help. The Chamber's Plan now offers employee benefit programs with greater selection, higher coverage levels, and more value than ever before. Take another look and see why we're the choice of more small businesses than any other plan in Canada. The Chamber's Plan. It's for your benefit. The 2019 edition of MBOT's annual magazine and directory is in the works. This directory is an excellent way for you to gain recognition for your business. For more information, call 905-273-6151 and speak with your membership services manager today. Now for our political update, here's our Vice President of Government and Stakeholder Relations, Brad Butt. Brad? Well, thanks, David. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau paid a visit to Mississauga last Thursday to announce a signature element of Budget 2019, a doubling of the gas tax revenue share with municipalities. Both the Prime Minister and Mississauga Mayor Bonnie Crombie made comments at the Myway Maintenance Bus Terminal, which MBOT was pleased to attend. 
Last Tuesday, Finance Minister Bill Morneau did table the 2019 budget in the House of Commons, despite efforts by the opposition to disrupt the proceedings. While the Canadian Chamber of Commerce reacted that the budget fell short of some key asks around taxation review and further regulatory red tape reduction, it did make some important investments in skills development, housing and innovation. The budget proposes to create the Canada Training Benefit by investing $1.7 billion over five years and $586.5 million per year afterwards. It creates a new non-taxable credit to help with the cost of training fees. Canadians aged 25 to 64 will accumulate $250 per year up to a lifetime limit of $5,000 that can be applied against fees for occupational skills training. It also proposes to provide $35.2 million over five years with $7.4 million per year to make the Global Talent Stream Pilot a permanent program. The budget promises to work with the provinces and territories and other stakeholders to create the Canada Drug Agency, including $35 million over four years to establish a transition office in the development of this vision. It will provide up to $1 billion over two years with up to $500 million ongoing to help Canadians with rare diseases the access to the drugs they need. Along with significant investments into the Canada Revenue Agency to help with better compliance and ease of service, Budget 2019 proposed to eliminate the income threshold to access the enhanced 35% refundable scientific research and experimental development tax credit, which will help thousands of businesses across Canada. Finally, the budget pledges to reduce the federal deficit from $19.8 billion in 2019-20 to $9.8 billion by 2023-24 and reduce the federal debt to GDP ratio from 30.7% in 2019-20 to 28.6% by 2023-24. The Chamber Network continues to be concerned about the government running high deficits with no plan or date to get back to a balanced budget. Mississauga City Council dealt with a staff report last Wednesday that recommends Mississauga become a single-tier, standalone municipality. If granted by the province, Mississauga would no longer be part of the region appeal, eliminating the upper-tier municipal government that has existed since 1974. At General Committee, Mayor Bonnie Crombie's motion was approved in principle and Council has asked that a Town Hall meeting of residents be called to further solicit input. The staff report said that Mississauga cross-subsidizes the City of Brampton and Town of Caledon close to $85 million per year and that there is both duplication and confusion on services delivered by having two levels of municipal government. The Region Appeal model also restricts Mississauga from having more than 50% of the votes, despite having close to two-thirds of the population. Our President and CEO, David Wojcik, addressed the committee last week, laying out MBOT's position on this issue. We also note the argument for better streamlined services if one level of municipal government is involved, rather than two. Mississauga, with a population of more than 800,000 people and still growing, certainly has the capacity to deliver services to both residents and businesses as a standalone, single-tier municipality. Finally for this week, Metrolinx has announced that the Here Ontario light rail transit project will proceed in a scaled-down version. While it is good news that the LRT will proceed, it will remove the Mississauga City Centre Loop and create a direct in-out access route from here, Ontario, to the Rathburn stop, located next to the MyWay Transit Terminal. It will defer the pedestrian bridge at the Cooksville stop to be included in a future transit-oriented development between the stop and the GO station and makes changes to streetscaping along the corridor. Back to you, David. Thanks, Brad. With a listing of our upcoming events, here's our events manager, Stephanie Giorgio. Stephanie. 
Thanks, David. And here's what's coming up at your Mississauga Border Chain. On April 3rd, Membership Matters is at MBOP, a session for new members to discover all the great benefits that your Mississauga Board of Trade has to offer. Seasoned members are always welcome to stop by for a refresher. On April 4th, we are at Dave & Buster's for Good Evening Mississauga. Come out and connect with Mississauga businesses. This evening will provide you with light snacks, adult beverages, and lots of opportunities to start building important business relationships. On April 9th, we are at the Monte Carlo Inn for the 2019 Economic Outlook. Robert Hogue, RBC's Senior Economist, discusses the 2019 federal budget and as well as the Mississauga and Ontario Economic Outlook. On April 10th, Good Morning Mississauga is at Braben Golf Course. We have a special feature this month, selling your business without the scars. Come listen to our expert panel providing tips and lessons on what to do and what to avoid as you consider, plan, endure, and complete a sale process. And save the date for our annual golf classic, Nine, Dine, and Network. On June 24th, we tee off at Lionhead Golf for nine holes of fun. Whether you're a golfer or not, this event has something for you. Can't make golf? No problem. Join us for dinner, big prizes, and our legendary silent auction. Grand prize of a big screen TV and a live auction for two airline tickets. Back to you, David. Thanks, Stephanie. If you have any questions about how to make a nomination for our Awards of Excellence, register for an event, increase awareness for your business, or have your company featured on MBOT TV, contact your membership services manager by calling 905 273 6151 and press 0 to get connected. Details about these stories and events are available at www.mbot.com. Until next week, this is David Fortune wishing you continued success in your business.